it is. Our last 15 foot piece of sheetrock. Goes from there all the way, all the way down the hall to here. And Grandma looks real excited to put that last one up. It's heavy. It's heavy. So these sheetrock pieces weigh 108 pounds a piece. And this last long piece is gonna go right up there. Okay, so this is sheetrock. This is how you make a wall in a house. You put it over the two by fours and you make it out of this stuff right here. It's called sheetrock. In the olden days, they used to do what was called lath and plaster. You get boards about this size, but longer, and they nail them onto a wall all together like this. And then they get this real mushy plaster and they spread it all over that. That was called lath and plaster. For a hundred for a hundred years or so, that's how they made the walls, and it was made out of a gypsum. But they didn't have it built like this. They just spread it on that, and it was a really hard, long, laborious way to put a wall up. Gypsum is made out of a rock that's pulverized into a powder form. To a liquid form and they put it in between two pieces of paper. There's a brown piece of paper on the back that kind of has a, uh, a protective moisture protection to it and then on the front this other paper that's on the front of it is more porous and it'll collect the paint. So you paint this nice side of the wall for the, the, for the inside and then this goes against the wall to protect it. Plaster is mined all over the world and it's it's been used for over 4,000 years. They even used plaster on the inside of the pyramids a long time ago. It's made up of this porous rock that this board right here is made up of 50% water. Doesn't sound like water, does it? It's crystallized water, just like a, an ice cube, only a little bit different. Um, it would take some weird science to understand how it actually works. But the good thing about it is, is that, that the water doesn't come out of this rock until it hits 240 degrees heat. So that's why it's a really good thing to have on your walls to protect against the fires because it takes up, the fire has to burn and burning it hot up to 240 degrees and then this turns into a to a vapor I mean the vapor starts coming out of it which also helps stop that once the vapors out of it the rock itself still helps to stop the fire so it's really good to have your house made out of sheet rock out of this gypsum rock that's in that and so that's why we use it on there and that's what we've been doing lately and so we're going to show you what we've done. Show how easy it is to break. Oh yeah, you know you, you think it's it's pretty strong but <laughs> it is pretty strong. You can break it fairly easy. Um, so that's why you got to be careful with your walls if you're Pounding against them, they'll break. That's how come your dad has to fix walls sometimes. <laughs> so now we're gonna take you on a little tour of what we've done. You wanna do that, dear? Wow.
get, I've got to get something to reach up higher. Hi everybody. So here we are, ready to show you the basement. It's not quite all the way done, but it's almost, and uh, we're, we're excited about it. So anyway, let's just have a quick little tour. So uh, right now, today, Dad is working on the fireplace, and uh, he's taking the pipes off, cleaning out the chimney and all that, and then yesterday he built this black box out of metal and then painted it black, and I, I think it looks really good. He did a good job on it. So this is the process we're on right now. And then after we get that done, we'll put the drywall up, up um, just right by that and here, and also in this section here. Um, so then this part here will be finished, except, uh, except for right here, we, we broke the door frame bringing in the drywall down at the bottom. So we have to replace one, one board and one part of it. Um, so that wall will be finished. And then we have, our, we'll start putting in doors, so the do there will be a little door that will go here. This will be a, a doorway that goes to our our water heater and our pump and our, our regular heater. So, and then we have to finish this wall here too, which we need to cut a, a doorway into a play area for the kids into the stairwell. So, okay, then we'll start into the apartment. This is the hallway and here is the closet. You just come in the doorway and there's a, uh, it's a big closet. We have to decide how we're going to design it and what we're going to do with it. But um, put some shelves in and a bar for hanging your coats and stuff. And then come down here and this is our bathroom. There's Dad and I put up our uh, the drywall behind the bathtub that's waterproof for the bathtub and shower. And then, um, let's see, we, we have the toilet will go next to that, and then we have a vanity that will go right here with a mirror and a light up here. So it's a, it's a nice little bathroom. So and then we have this corner area right here where we're going to do some shelves here. But we thought leaving that open uh, will make it bigger for this room in here. So then it comes into this room and you can see that we have it all framed and, well not framed, but drywall put up. So this will be like a TV will go here and a couch here. We'll have our kitchen sink here, microwave, stove, and over here we have a dishwasher. And um, the washer and dryer are right here. And we've decided, I think, but not positive, that the refrigerator will either go right here, which was going to be a pantry. It may be a pantry, it may be a refrigerator. Let us know your opinion. <laughs> it's open for comment. But otherwise, the refrigerator will go right here. So we're trying to decide. And then we have a room back in there that goes to the other side of the, uh, the pump, the water heater, and there will be a door there. So and then you come in here. This is the bedroom. And in this bedroom we have a closet, but it's pretty much what you would expect. This bedroom. I think they're they're not bad sized bedrooms. And then over here is another bedroom, which we have a, the toilet sitting in here for right now, but it's going to go in the bathroom, not the bedroom, I promise. <laughs> so anyway, we have a closet over here on this side with a. A window. I think this is the biggest of the two bedrooms. That looks very different from when you guys were here, doesn't it? I don't know if you remember the red bunk bed here, and the big double bed here, the, I don't know, <laughs> way different from when you were here. So it's coming along, we're excited. We decided we're going to do carpeting in the bedrooms and probably hardwood or uh, something in the hallway, family room, and bathroom. It'll all be the same. So we'll just do carpeting here. And then Dad wants to put carpeting out by the fireplace. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing, but I'm not sure. So anyway, now you see it. Love you. Bye-bye.